So welcome back to the channel guys. I have a 2022 Ford F-250 King Ranch. Now this truck is painted in antimatter and it does have a two-tone so it has like a brown on the bottom part. Looks really good. Kind of matches the wheels too. Special shout out to Kisselback Ford here in St. Cloud, Florida. They did allow me to do the testing on this truck. Unfortunately it is pre-sold so I can't drive it today but I will show you guys around it and show you guys that big old screen in the center stock today. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So here's a quick view of your window sticker as I mentioned 2022 Ford F-250 single rear wheel and here's just a short listing of some of your standard equipment. Starting off the options you do have that 6.7 liter power stroke which is $10,495 it comes with a 10 speed. This does have an optional 331 electronic locking axle it would come standard with a non-limited slip. And check out all the other options. I strongly recommend FX4 package. And moving along, you have almost $14,000 in options added to this truck with a total price of $78,995. So as you guys just saw on the window sticker, this truck does have an optional 6.7 liter power stroke. This is gonna be the diesel engine. There are two other gas engines available. I strongly recommend that 7.3 liter gas. I think it's probably one of the best gas engines you can purchase to date for the HD trucks but this diesel is going to be good for 475 horsepower 1050 pound feet of torque it is made it to a 10 speed transmission and the last time I drove one of these trucks it was ridiculously quick too now this truck does use 13 quarts of oil and you can use a like 10w30 or a 0w40 if you do live in colder climates now as far as the front end goes, you guys can see that this truck does have halogen headlights. If you would like the upgraded headlights, it is an option for the King Ranch Edition. Um, but you can note that the front grille does have some painted parts on it. And it pretty much matches the bottom grille and the fender flares too. Looks really good. And you do have a good amount of chrome on the front too. And if you look at the wheel design too, it does match the grill, the bumper, and the fender flares. I like how it flows together. And these are going to be a 20 inch wheel wrapped in LT2756520. And then here are some of your capacities for this tire. So pretty robust tire and it's kind of like an all-terrain tire too and it has really good capacity. So if you are planning on towing, it's a perfect setup. Fords do use a solid front axle and they do put like a fabric material inside of the wheel well which should be easier for you to clean out. And here's some of the badging. You don't really see a lot of these King Ranch trucks. I see more like Lariat, Platinums. Those are like the ones you always see. And you don't really see a lot of two-tone trucks too. So this is a pretty unique truck in my opinion. They do give you a painted piece above the mirror right here. You do have some turn signals you can see. You do have a camera on the side of the mirror. I didn't show you, but you had one on the front as well. And that's gonna be for your 360 camera. And in the comment section, I think that Ram has the least attractive long bed truck. Between Ford and GM, who has the best looking long bed crew cab? Let me know. You can tell that your running boards are painted with that brown and it does have LED lights on each side. And there is a light under the mirror too, so it should make it easier getting in and out of the truck at night. And moving on back, because this is a long wheel base, 176 inch, this would have a 48 gallon fuel tank, 7.4 gallon DEF tank. And this does have the FX4, so you're gonna have the skid plates, you're gonna have the all-terrain tires that you just saw, downhill assist, all that good stuff. I don't think that you should buy a Ford truck without that package, personally. They did revise the tailgate for 2020. It looks a lot cleaner, a little bit more like refreshed. And you do have the parking sensors, class five receiving hitch. Now, if you move to a F350, they do give you a three inch receiver hitch. But this will be a two and a half inch and here's some of your capacities for that there do you have the rear parking sensors 
you can drop that tailgate using the key and you do have that step system to get inside the tailgate if you get the prep package for the fifth wheel and gooseneck they do give you two plugs this looks to be the seven pin and this is that new standard plug here so if you do use a camera system for your trailer you should be able to plug that in here and it should work you do have bed lights too led and this does have that spray in too which is an option One thing I love about Ford is they do give you a high capacity trailering package. Now this truck does have your standard leaf pack here. So it's just going to have three leaves in that main pack. If you were to get that package I just listed, you would get overload leaf springs and they would increase the gross fuel weight rating of the truck too. So just keep that in mind. They do have like a dual exhaust design for the tailpipes. And check out your mirrors. This truck does have a smart key system. If you push the button on the door handle, it will lock the doors. And you can slide your hand in to unlock it as well. So check out your door card. You do have some soft touch where you need it at. There are some hard plastics on the interior, but not too much. And I like this brown interior. I'm a huge fan of lighter interiors. And this has like that saddle look to it too. It looks really beautiful. I think that's one thing I've loved about Ford. They've always kind of been the leader for design for the interior. I mean, Ram came in strong in 2019, but they kind of had to because Ford was really bringing their A-game already. But you do have your controls here for your mirrors, for your windows. You can power fold the uh, mirrors if you like. You can also extend them out for your trailer too. And I like that they do that because it allows you to really fine tune it the way you want it to. Now, one thing I can't wait to show you is that big boy right there. I mean, this screen makes this interior just look so much more luxurious just by having this a slightly bigger screen. But before we get there, you do have lights on each side of the mirrors. And this is how you control your headlights. They are automatic. And you have fog lights, you have bed lights. You can power adjust your pedals below. And you do have a power driver's seat, as you would expect. And just check out some of your design for the interior. I'll show you guys these numbers here at the end as I always do. Let's go ahead and climb in. Really easy to get inside with these running boards. I would prefer power, but these actually look pretty nice. They do give you a grab handle. Huge screen in the front here. But I'm gonna take a break here. I have to take some time to figure out how to use this screen, all right? So let me go ahead and start it up. Man, look at that big boy. Oh my goodness, these screens are huge. I'll be right back. All right guys, so let's take a look at this uh, center screen here. This is a pretty big screen too. Now there are a few different areas you can view. So this is the my view, so you can customize this however you like. You do have a trip and fuel. So you have trip one, trip two, shows you your fuel economy. You have to click the okay button to get in there. Uh, you can set some of these things up on your favorite menu as I just showed you. Moving on, you do have your truck information. It shows you some of your gauges. Something I would recommend for Ford is to do a gauge summary that shows your coolant temperatures, your transmission temperature as you just saw. Also having the oil temperature and maybe even the oil pressure. That's something that Ram does. I would love to see them do the same thing. But it does show you a transmission temperature and I think it shows the engine hours too somewhere too. So you can see a pretty decent amount of things on here but I would like to see a little bit more from Ford. Now moving over, they do have a towing uh, menu too, and just you can kind of go through this. You can get lost if you have trailers. I mean, if you have one or two or three trailers, you can set them up differently, and so it's easy to set up for each one once you go through that process. And they do have an off-road screen, and then they have your settings. Now one thing I love about Ford is they do give you some driving modes here on the shift column. It's going to be normal, tow haul, eco slippery and deep snow and sand you have to switch into full wheel drive to use that one and they do show you the gears on the side here i love that they do that that's something that i would like to see from gm now moving over you have this big screen um i couldn't even tell you which one i like better ram or ford i think i like the ford better i like the way it's laid out better it's a little bit um longer i guess rams is very narrow but 
I think the Rams looks cool, but this one's definitely looks like it has a little bit more usability. Now, let me turn the AC down. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing that too much. But this is going to be the audio, so if you're doing your Bluetooth, things like that, it will show up here. They do have like a quick menu here. I don't think you can close this. Uh, let me, let's just keep going here. You do have a place where you can set up your phone. Now with navigation, I know that you can make it full screen that way and see everything. And look how big this screen is. Look, it looks huge, it's like a television. And then you have your favorites, apps. So it has your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, settings here. So you can really customize the screen and just the display, things like that, sounds. If you wanna get rid of those annoying beeping noises, you can probably do that in here. And, Yeah, I don't, I don't see how you get rid of this, but it's like a, like a quick menu basically. So you can view a few things in here. Maybe if I have a chance, I'll sit down and really go through this a little bit more in depth. But for now, like I said, this is a really cool system. It definitely does make the interior like pop really well. Like I like the black gloss around the screen with the chrome accents, looks really clean. This, this looks like it, kind of resembles the GM trucks a little bit, just a little bit. But you do have your exhaust brake up here. And Ford gives you two settings. They give you automatic. And of course they have the on, which is like the, once you take your foot off the gas, it starts to give you braking from the uh, back pressure from your turbo. Traction control, you have your caution lights. You do have downhill assist and then you have your lane keep and cross traffic all that good stuff your camera system let's check this out so we are parked right here it does have that bird's eye view on the side and you have these three little lines here you can cl click it and it shows you which one we're actually in right now the camera is actually pretty clear it's a little fuzzy um, it's not bad but I, I kind of would like to see them maybe give a better higher quality camera but it's not bad I can clearly see everything really well it shows you the frontal and you do have some auxiliary cameras too. And this is the camera you probably would connect to that plug I showed you in the bed. Shows you your conventional hitch. And then it shows you just like a wide view of the rear. So this is a nice system. Uh, I think that Ford and GM are probably neck and neck there. I'd like to see this a higher quality camera, but apart from that, this is perfect. You do have your four wheel drive on the side here. You have your trailer brake. And this is for that trailer backup. I have never used this before, but I've heard that it does help make things a little bit easier. And you do have dual climate control. You have your cooled seats. They work pretty good. I have one right now. It's like 90 something degrees out here in uh, Florida. It gets hot. And yeah, I mean, everything looks good. Everything feels good. And yeah, the knobs have like a brightness to them. Down below here, you have a compartment to charge your phone two USBs, type A, type C, and some area here for some storage. This does slide to give you more cup holders. Who wouldn't want more cup holders? Center console is wrapped in leather with some stitching, and it's really deep too. Check out the passenger side. You do have a lumbar support on this side. It does go up and down only in the rear of the seat here. So for you shorter people out there like my wife, this be perfect for you. <laughs> and yeah, pretty much the same door card, leather wrapped here. Nice fake wood piece, but looks really nice. And a good amount of storage. That's one good thing about the HD trucks. They do give you a lot of areas to put stuff, even on the side here. I believe that Ford redesigned this truck in 2017. And when you look at the rear cab, it, it is gonna be a flat floor surface. You do have a 60-40 bench out back too. They do provide more USBs, type A, type C, and they give you a actual power plug and a like an old school power outlet too. Cup holders, you should have one in the door, which is right here, and some storage. And if you look under the seat, you do have storage. Now if you'd like, you can drop the storage down. You just have to pull this lever here. 
and then it drops down and then you lock it in place and then you have a flat floor surface. You have a big dog and a small child, you can still let them both be comfortable out back. So really nice. They do have that power inverter too. And yeah, this is a really nice truck. I mean, for them to design this cab, you know, almost what, is it five years ago? It still is like really nice for the today's standards. They do provide LED lights in the interior and you do have an option to put a panoramic sunroof in the King Ranch too, if you'd like. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers. The front gross axle weight rating is gonna be 5,990 pounds. The rear is gonna be 6,340 pounds. This truck does have a 10,000 pound GVWR. You can get a 10,800 pound if you get that high capacity trailer package. Strongly recommend that. All in, payload capacity is 1,766 pounds. So that does sound a little low, but keep in mind this truck does have the long bed, it does have a spray and bed liner, it has the fifth wheel prep package, has 20 inch wheels, has all terrain tires. All these things are going to, and I forgot to mention it has a diesel engine, so all these things are gonna make this truck so much heavier. So I strongly recommend if you do want to tow like a fifth wheel small one, with a truck like this, you will have to get that package. And that Kissel back forward, they actually have one or two trucks that are already included with that package. So a conventional trailer would be perfect for something like this. The truck has great stability because of the long bed and the long wheelbase. But on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Before I end the video, I want to show you the towing capacities for the conventional trailer. So if you look under where the diesel is, 331 axle, 23,500 pounds is the gross combined weight rating. And if you scroll all the way over here, you'll find the 4x4 long wheelbase 8 foot bed. And these are the numbers for that truck. So 15,000 pounds is max weight. Lastly, you do have your fifth wheel and gooseneck towing. So if you look for that power stroke diesel, we did have that 331 axle, so this is going to be the gross combined weight rating. Scroll all the way over to the end here under the 4x4, 176 inch wheelbase, 8 foot bed. This is going to be the number 12,900 pounds. Now, obviously, if you get a 355 um, and you get that uh, high capacity trailer tow package, you can definitely tow a lot more trailers, so just keep that in mind. My recommendation is because you are limited to your payload, I think that the 73 gas is a really good option. You um, combine that with that 430 axle ratio and I think that you would have a great towing truck especially if you're not climbing a lot of grades but on that note I hope this was helpful be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys soon